Good morning, little chef. I got to sleep in captain's quarters last night. Guests are off the boat, so the captain and his wife slept in one of the guest rooms. I slept like a baby. I call the bed in my room a coffin because the bunk above me is like a foot high. I bang my head on it all the time. Woke up this morning to another rainy day. It has been raining for the past week, which is pretty atypical here in the Bahamas. Every other summer, I can count on my hand how many times it rained. I got up to my galley, got my cup of coffee, and started making sandwiches because we were supposed to go fishing today. But it ended up storming all day, so that got canceled. Hopefully we can fish tomorrow. We're trying to catch some yellow eye snapper to have some fish on board for this trip. Even though I made these sandwiches as a to-go lunch for our fishing trip, I'll still serve it for lunch. If the crew could, they would have a sandwich every single day. I don't know why, maybe it's just easy to hold and do stuff at the same time. I do make a lot of sandwiches for guests as well whenever they have beach days, so I have tons of deli meat on board. It's on constant rotation. I always have some in the refrigerator and a lot of it is backed up in the freezer. Deli meat, cheese, and bread freezes great, so it's something I can count on for the whole entire two months. After I made our sandwiches, I started working on breakfast. The crew is pretty much on their own for breakfast. Gina and Mark either do toast or a shake, and I'll always make Brian four eggs. Captain Mark went into the island and got fresh Bahamian coconut bread. And let me tell you, this bread is amazing. Whenever it's on board, it's gone within the day. Morning breakfast, little Johnny cake, little butter, little honey, banana. Ooh, Captain's breakfast. After breakfast, I watered my plant babies that are doing great. I'm trying to keep them alive for this whole trip. I'm considering a hydroponic system for next year. I've tried putting my herbs outside, but either the salt water or the sun always kills them. I have to share some big news with you guys. I made Little Chef merch. And I made enough sweatshirts so the crew could all match and be Little Chefs. So let's go surprise the crew. Let's see. I have a surprise for you, Gina, as well. What is it? It's for you. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. You're welcome. I know. I was, well, I tried to make it relatable. And I, I don't know if anyone wants to see, like, Abby in the galley. Everyone likes the little chef thing. Okay, these are medium. These must be marks. Let's play with that. Okay. Unless you want me in. No, small's perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Here's your new sweatshirt. What? <laughs> nice! <laughs> nice! Cute, right? Awesome. Everyone's gonna be a little shook here. <laughs> What I got for you. Isn't that cute? I love Yeah, it's for you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Peace out, little chef. That's what I should have put on yours. It looks great. Hey, Mark. If you want some little chef merch for yourself, check the description below. It's on Prime, so you could get it in like two days. And if you're enjoying this channel, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. I got a little hungry mid-morning, so I ate half of my sandwich and some broccoli salad. The broccoli salad was left over from the other day, and it's one of my favorites. After I ate, I went on a little walk, and this is the clubhouse at the marina we're staying at. This is the upstairs area. It has no AC, but it does have a bar and a pool table. And some pretty good Wi-Fi. I usually come to the clubhouse in the morning time and I always see a family sitting at the table doing schoolwork. I think they must live on a sailboat year round and do homeschool, which honestly sounds like a dream for a kid. Now the downstairs of the clubhouse is air conditioned. So sometimes I come here after I finish up with dinner service to just chill. And here's where I get my coffee. 
I've been doing like three cups a day, which I know is not good for me. Uh, I'll have to wean off once I get off the boat. Do we have any board games on the boat? They're out playing spoons. You want to come on a walk with us? You don't have to. Well, I was thinking about walking over to the beach over there. You want to go for a long walk? Sure. Sure. Okay. Let's do it. Well, we went up there, and all the sticks have no tips to them. And there's a little kid just, like, messing around in there. Nice. Yeah. So, we're going on a walk. Instead. And we're off. This area is really nice. There's a golf course, a couple of resorts. There's also a pool at the resort that I definitely crashed one time. So right now we're walking alongside the golf course. I got to play it last year and it was absolutely incredible, but it kicked my butt. The fairways are super narrow and the wind was kicking. I started off with six balls and left with negative two. How is that even possible? Don't ask. So of course I said yes to going on the tender ride, but first I had to cut up my potatoes. Tonight I'm making mashed potatoes with beef stew. heard of the fire festival you know that netflix documentary about that concert that people paid like thousands of bucks for this is where it was at no way are you serious there's no road up there yeah oh my gosh do the tides fluctuate in here You want an actual sea urchin? Yeah, I want a live sea urchin. We can do some sushi. What do you say? You see what? Gloves. Oh. Oh, yeah, you don't have any gloves. You gonna walk back or no? 
Pop it right up on that stop sign there. Ryan can do it from up there. We can make it. Oh, we have to take this down. This feels like a Disney World attraction. <laughs> Something's gonna happen. It's very suspenseful right now, just, just kind of slowly coming up to the tunnel. I'll be right here. I'll come. come here, Poochie. Rainy day here in Georgetown. Oh. Thurston is frightened. <laughs> he does not like thunder. He's going back to his room. Go in your room, shaky leg. Where are you going? Gina's upstairs. Come on, go upstairs. Go upstairs. Come on, come on. You want some? Gator. No, he likes it downstairs when it's thundering. That was a nice little break, but now we have to get back to work. I'm cutting out my mirepoix now, which is 50% onion, 25% carrot, and 25% celery. This is like the foundation of French cuisine, and it's gonna give the stew tons of flavor. For the stew meat, I just season it with some salt and pepper and then dust it with flour. The flour is going to help with the browning of the meat, but it's also going to help thicken the stew.
first in a little plate. Look at that. I'm not gonna eat much, but it just smells so damn good. Like oh. garlic and onions? Oh, mashed dirty mashed potatoes. Mm. Yummy. I said it's a Pennsylvania dish, bro. Mmm. What? It's good. Guess what time it is, little chef? It's creamy time. Yesterday, I froze a banana pudding creamy. So we're spinning it today. While it was doing, I did some dishes, but I couldn't hold in my excitement. You can tell by my face, I'm super stoked with how it turned out. There's only one way to make this better, throw some Nello wafers in it. We're trying to get that classic banana pudding taste. And I think I achieved it based on that reaction. I just made this banana cream pie ice cream in the creamy. Now I'm gonna have to crew taste it. All right, guys. Oh boy. Banana cream pie ice cream. Here, this one's pretty big. Thank you. There's no cream. It's just milk. Milk and bananas and vanilla pudding mix. Right? What do you think? After I finished up with cleaning the galley, I played cards with the crew, watched a beautiful sunset, and then went down to crew quarters. I always sleep in the clothes that I'm going to wear the next day, so I looked at what we're wearing. And since guests are off the boat, I get captain's quarters. This cabin actually has a whole twin-size bed. That's double the size of my normal bed. Bye, little chef. <laughs>